Well, if there's anyone happy about this, it's the higher ups at EA, as they finally have some competition for being the worst company in America, as Activision is trying pretty hard to steal that award for themselves. I was just in the middle of writing my next script for reviewing and praising Call of Duty after the incredible Modern Warfare beta where I sank in around 15 hours with my friends over the weekend and got a chance to try out every game mode that was offered. And while I do think the actual game itself is the best Call of Duty game in years, I just don't know if I can recommend this game anymore. And if you have this game pre-ordered, I urge you to cancel it. And if you're confused as to why, well here's your reason. So with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the game is basically split into three parts. Story, Multiplayer, and Spec Ops. And now it turns out that besides the usual Spec Ops missions, there'll be another mode within Spec Ops called Survival, which was rather popular during its introduction in Modern Warfare 3. Survival is essentially a horde-like mode for Call of Duty, and while you would think this addition would be met with praise and excitement and add on to the already immense amount of content that Modern Warfare will be offering players, Activision is still involved, which means there's always a catch. It was first seen in the story trailer for the game when it said PS4 players could play this mode first. But the fine grey print at the very bottom says this timed exclusive content will remain exclusive to PlayStation all the way until October 1st of 2020. A whole year away. Activision, what the actual hell. This is absurd and entirely unacceptable. It was one thing to allow PS4 players a week of early access to the beta, or for a couple weeks of early access to DLC in the previous Call of Duty games. After all, Xbox did this too for a while. But a year of early access is way over the line. And I'm glad the game's Reddit community has banded together as one and began a mass cancellation movement as this is the only way Sony and Activision will realize how unfair this is. At first, an employee at Infinity Ward tried to tell all the fans that this mode was merely 1% of the game and that all of us were over exaggerating. But ironically, he's the one exaggerating. If your game is divided into three parts and one half of a single part is exclusive, well that means 16.67% of content for Xbox One and PC players is missing from the game at launch. And I'm really starting to get pissed off and tired of this crap that Activision and Sony keep doing. As a huge Destiny fan on Xbox, I already had to put up with PlayStation getting all kinds of exclusives for Destiny 1 that would last an entire year and it was awful. Especially since it usually included multiplayer maps or even strike missions that I had already paid for but had to wait a year to access. So to see the same behavior regarding exclusive content get carried over from Destiny to Call of Duty is essentially Activision digging their own grave. It doesn't even matter what console you're on, no one should buy the game at this point, as this decision and practice is just scummy. Now let's get one thing clear, I don't blame Infinity Ward or the actual developers at all, as they've clearly put so much hard work and love into this game to try and make a Call of Duty game that fans are actually excited about. But the suits and higher ups at Activision made this deal of Sony so the only way to get our point across is to show them a drop in pre-orders and a rise in refunds. And for those fans that want to say it's just survival and spec ops and it doesn't matter, there's two things wrong with that logic. One, just because you personally may not care for survival doesn't mean others don't as well. Call of Duty is such a large franchise and with so many game modes and sections of the game, people can have different parts they enjoy. While someone may like Call of Duty only for multiplayer, someone else may like it for spec ops and the story. So saying that this deal is fine, just because it may not be the most popular mode, is not a good excuse. Second, if we don't stop Activision and Sony with their exclusive crap here, then they may take this further and make the new fan favorite 2v2 gunfight or the massive battlefield inspired ground war exclusive. No matter how you look at this, it's a slippery slope if we let them set the example. EA may get a lot of hate today, and rightfully so, as they seem to make one mistake after another, and usually end up shutting down beloved studios along the way. But Activision is on an entirely other level of greed, with the way they are and have been doing things. I don't think I need to remind anyone how Black Ops 4 became one of the biggest jokes in the industry, with both a season pass and awful microtransactions. And while Modern Warfare doesn't have a season pass, you can be sure Activision will try and find some way to screw over the entire fanbase a month or so after launch. Activision keeps pulling this kind of BS and abusing the COD fanbase. But it's also our fault as we keep buying their games and getting hyped for the next one. We need to stop it here and hold the line. Also one last thing I want to mention is that while this move from Activision doesn't surprise me in the slightest, I really don't know why Sony makes these kind of deals. They've been dominating this generation in sales and have made so many first party exclusives that are worthy of being system sellers. I own all systems, but I'm primarily an Xbox guy. No one is going to pay for a new console or switch their console of choice for one mode. That's what first party games are for. Instead, Sony is just going to lose sales on their end and piss off consumers on other platforms. 
This isn't a trade-off, it's a lose-lose scenario. Activists need to find a fix to this soon, or they're gonna feel the effects of this idiotic idea on their sales numbers. And I just wanted to be hyped for Call of Duty again, but this recent news killed off a lot of my enthusiasm. If I'm going to be missing one-sixth of my game that I purchased, then the price of the game on other consoles should reflect this. A year-long timed exclusive may not matter for some games, but considering Call of Duty is an annual franchise, there is no excuse for this level of stupidity and greed. Okay, well that wraps up my mixed rant slash news video, so let me know what you think of this news down in the comments. If you'd like to contact me about anything Call of Duty related or otherwise, as well as stay updated on my videos, then go follow my Twitter account linked below. And if you want awesome perks such as behind the scenes of my videos, involvement in the creation progress, mentions in the credits such as seen here, and much more, then go check out my Patreon below and find a tier that fits you best. With that said, be sure to leave a like, share the video, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all on the next Shepard Gaming video. Keyless Alive.